Hey everybody, it's Kristen Nicole Smith. I'm here in Detroit with my family at my house. And I want to tell you tonight about um, my after high school vocational school experience in Dearborn, Michigan, on Outer Drive and Michigan Avenue at National Institute of Technology. As National Institute of Technology is closed now, at least it is here in Michigan. I haven't heard anything about National Institute of Technology in a decade or so, but this is what I experienced there in 2001. So I enrolled in September 2001, right after 9-11 attack on the Twin Towers. I was watching TV and saw an advertisement for National Institution, National Institute of Technology um, as I was watching the news about the Twin Towers attack in New York on 9-11. And so I called them and talked to them and determined I wanted to get enrolled. This was after, right after I graduated from high school in 2001. So when I got there, I learned many things and I was enrolled in medical assisting. So I learned how to draw blood that means take a needle and put it in a vein and take the blood out to analyze it, for the, for the doctor to analyze it. So I learned how to do that. And I learned how to do EKGs. EKGs are heart monitors. They monitor whether your heart is beating regularly, if you're going to have a heart attack, if you're going to have a stroke and things like that. It monitors that. Mostly people who are up in age have that. Um, or people who have some kind of substance abuse is issues or other things like that, maybe anxiety. So I learned how to do that. And I learned urinalysis to find out if there's something in your urine, in your bladder, in your kidneys. That's for the doctor to analyze. But I just write the results down and give it to the doctor. And he analyzes it and tells the patient exactly what they need, whether they need medication, more water, cranberry juice, anything, whatever and let them know what they need. I learned medical terminology like anatomy and medicines and um, uh, medical office equipment and things like that um, so I could function in a medical office and know exactly what they're talking about because it's a whole different garb you know, um, when you go in there, you have to know what they're talking about in order to work there. And I learned medical billing, how to read codes in a doctor's office so that the patient or medical insurance can be billed correctly and uh, properly and not overcharge them or undercharge them for services. So I learned for five months, then progress to an internship at 3800 Woodward Avenue in Detroit at Dr. Albert C. Hayes' office. So there I cared for patients, live patients. I did the blood draws, the EKGs, the urinalysis. I spoke the lingo. I didn't do any billing. Okay, I also wrote in patient charts what I saw and determined from what they told me when they came in because the patient tells us first we tell the doctor and then the doctor determines what he's going to prescribe to them or tell them how to help themselves in any way possible I answered the phone so people called like um, insurance companies pharmacies um drug companies, patients. And so I answered the phone to talk to them. That was nice. Um, and I fed the fish. He had a huge fish tank in there, Dr. Hayes. And the fish were very huge. <laughs> uh, he had all kinds of fish and he had an algae eater. So I fed the fish and the algae eater. That was my job too, to feed the fish. Me and my buddy, uh, Laura Scruggs, she also worked there. She was really nice. And we ate free, delicious food from the drug reps. Drug companies would come in from all over and bring Dr. Hayes drugs for the patients um, so that they could be 
healed or relieved of any illness they had. So along with the drugs, because I guess he'll per I guess he'll purchase the drugs. So they'll bring food for us to eat for lunch. So we would have free lunch most days. So I didn't get my certificate of completion from NIT because they charged me like an extra thousand dollars for graduation. I didn't want to ask my mom, you know, she was already complaining about the bill she had got because me and her split the bill for me to go to that school. I, I agreed and she agreed. So she, I don't want to ask her for an extra thousand dollars. So there were extra fees, so I didn't graduate from that school, but I did learn everything that I could from that school. So I kind of snuck through with a lower bill, kind of. But I did get hired at Dr. Albert C. Hayes' office and stayed there briefly. For personal reasons, I don't want to go into it. How much did all that cost? It cost about $5,000, and that was back in 2001. Again, that school is closed now, I've, at least here in Michigan. It might be open somewhere else. I don't know, but $5,000. Um, My mom got a $5,000 bill. So, yep, yeah, that's my vocational school experience at National Institute of Technology. Enjoy. Bye-bye.